to publish our design system. I like to work with a tool called TaintSet, which is a really nice tool that helps us with versioning, like bumming the version of our package.json when we are ready to publish, and with change logs. So how would it work? Let's find out really quick. First of all, to install this, we would execute this one and we will install this in the root directory because this is a script that we will use for all the packages and we are ready and then to initialize it yarn chain set and then init from initialize and you will see that we have some new files the chain set folder the configuration a readme file and basically those are the new files that were created from chain set and for it to work properly we need to go to every single package.json and create our first version. So we went to React and we will go to the foundation. We can also go to Storybook if we wish, but remember that Storybook is a private package, meaning that we will not publish this. And now let's create our first chain set. To do this, we go here, yarn chain set and add. And now the CLI asks us uh, which packages we want to include in this chain set. And in our case, we want the foundation and the React package. Then do we want to release a major version? No. A minor? No. We want a patch for both of them. And let's say this is our very first release. And this is it. That's how easy it is to work. And now if we go back, we can see that we have a new markdown file and this is actually a chain set which holds uh, some information for example here it holds the information of the packages that changed and uh, what was the change if it was a patch a main or a major or a minor release for us and then our message and now how we are publishing there is a chain set command called version which basically checks all of our markdown files now you can see that our markdown file is deleted. So it checks the markdown files and it tries to understand what would be the version changed for each of the packages. So you can see here we have the version we modified from version 0.0.0. .0. It bumped to 0.0.1. .0 and with the change lock included, the same for React packages with a change lock included. And here we can see that it's pumped, but uh, we don't care about Storybook at all. Those change log files, if you push them to your Git, they will look something like this. This is the change log file for the change sets repository and for the CLI package, which is a really nice way and a really nice tool to help us manage and delegate every complexity of publishing and versioning and change log for our packages. Thanks for watching this new line tutorial. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps other students find our content.